hello everyone welcome again and today i'm going to show you demo of a student feedback system and where a student can add the feedback for faculties and faculty can view their feedbacks okay so technically this uh, application is uh, this is a web application and it's using jspn servlets so to manage the front end it's using html css bootstrap and uh, some kind of javascript and uh, to handle the response for at front end side it's using jsp uh, to manage the server side or controller side it's using uh, servlet and uh, to manage the database transactions it's using MySQL database and it's a deploy over the tomcat server and using maven uh, to manage the dependencies and uh, here is the form.xml file configuration file is here so uh, for, to connect with the database it's using jdbc so uh, it can be run over the it can be configured and run over the like uh, you can set up or use as a ide eclipse or sts currently i'm using uh, sts it's same as a uh, eclipse so i'm going to run the application and we'll show how the application is working so to run the application just right click here go to run as run on the server select the server as the tomcat click on this application will automatically launch over the chrome browser and before uh, check the application let's check the database first so here we have a, a database for student uh, feedback system student review system or uh, uh, here under the user table we have a user table that contain multiple kind of roles so basically there are three types of roles admin is there students is there and faculties is there another table we have a student role feedback uh, questions faculty and contact so now if i come to the front end of uh, the welcome page this is contained a slider here that contains some uh, students image and here we have a header part and in the header part we have a four option home page about us and contact us and the sign in so contact us is a static or uh, not a static it's a dynamic page so we can fill up the data and we can send the data the data will be stored into the database and you can see the message content submitted and this ebook will be stored into the contact table i am going to just open this contact table you can see the new data here and about us is a static page that contain an image and some information about the you know, application okay now we have a sign in option so uh, we can log in as an admin we can log in as a student we can log in as a faculty with this same uh, login form also if you want to register as a student we have an option here to sign up as a student and sign up as a faculty so first let's log in as an admin and check what admin can do and then we'll uh, perform operation for students and faculty so in the same user table here we have three types of role which is one two three or you can say the uh, uh, admin faculty and student so one by one we'll log in and check what the application is working so for the admin we have this credential login id and the password so i'm going to just enter this username and the password as say picture one two three click on the sign in button so i can see many option over there the uh, about us and contact us is a common option but another option we have a my profile so admin can check and update its profile and admin will be the user who can check all the feedbacks for uh, the given by any student for any faculty and this is the feedback message other option here to add a student as an admin i can add a new student so i just need to fill up this form and make sure while you filling this uh, you are entering a valid data for example uh, login we have to drop, enter a proper email id and the password password should be some character and some capital letter small letters and a special character and all so here i can add the data words so i'm going to just add in some random date and contact number 10 digit valid contact number and the sender and the student's address so here i can choose an image so i'm just choosing a random image click on the save and the member is not in delete uh, so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay i should be enter and i'm gonna enter some address and to choose an image so this time the data saved successfully now we can check this record under this student list 
and other option to uh, admin here as a add a faculty so for my admin i can add a new faculty over there again i can check the list of faculty here and under the user list this will be a mix up of both table the student table and uh, and the faculty table so the complete user list user data will be displayed here as a logout option and now i can sign up as a uh, student and then log in and perform the operation the same process will be there similarly i can sign up as a faculty here so uh, I'm going to save the time and I already have that user into this database. So I'm going to be going to log in with this user. So recently we have added this student. So I'm going to copy the username and password for this student and log in with this student and will add some feedback for any faculty. So here when I sign in, I can see some common options and the new option is add feedback or view feedback. So uh, if I view the feedback, I will not see any data because uh, I didn't uh, add any feedback from this account, from this user account. So I just click on the add uh, feedback to add it and I just select the faculty. So just remember we are uh, adding for this faculty and I'm going to the, this was good session. session so I click on the save button now I can check uh, view feedback it will be displayed here similarly if I log in with that user uh, with that faculty for whom I have just added the uh, feedback for this faculty I'm going to log in with this user now and here is it so when I click on the feedback list so this is the new feedback uh, coming from this user and this was the past feedback so that's it about the student feedback system <clears throat> if you need the source code you can contact us over the whatsapp over the mail and we have a remote team so they will set up and help you to run the project at, at your application and we have multiple services if you want explanation if you want to like learning the complete development you can join the facilities that services as well so just uh, ping and take the inquiry thank you